Oh my goodness, get ready for a cute <laughs> baby. At just six months old, a little boy by the name of Avery had to wear a cranial helmet because he was born with a flat spot on the back of his head. Not just any helmet, this actually is a pretty common situation. So Avery's dad wanted to add some flair to the situation, which you're gonna see here in a moment, and he joins us with Avery today. To both of you, well, what's up, buddy, how are you? He's like, he's got his eyes yeah, on he's you, like, hey, Chris Bird. We're good, man. I love your, I love the custom little hat you have there, man. Well, can you first kind of start with that? Uh, we just said flat spot, but there's more science behind yeah. this. What, what, what were you told um, when he was first born? Um, we were told that he's got uh, plagiocephaly and he's got kind of a flat spot on the back of his head. That's just how he was in the womb. Um, so. Um, they gave us some different positioning and things, you know, while he was a little baby, uh, turn the head when he's sleeping and stuff like that. Right. And um, it just turned out that uh, about, about six months, they said he needed to get a cranial helmet. Being new to this, you know, we did the research and everything on the internet and joined some national groups to kind of see how uh, kind of ideas they would have. And we found that some people were actually changing the helmets and putting wraps on them and getting them painted. and. So do we have, I think we have a picture of before the wrap was on. Do we have a picture of uh, what, oh, I thought we had one that was just <laughs> plain <great>. white. <laughs> okay, Here so this is what the, what it first looked like. What kind yes. of a standard, yeah. standard helmet was. So this is a standard. When you order the helmets, you can pick colors. Um, we picked white. Um, you can kind of pick the strap color on it. And um, we found that when we'd go out in the public, people would kind of gawk at us. And they'd kind of snicker and they'd kind of say things like, oh, what happened? Did you drop your baby? And it's, you know, we're just going out to the store, just trying to have normal life. And it was, um, it was kind of tough. It was tough for us to all go out. So um, we did some searching and um, we found uh, custom concepts out in West Fargo. Um, they, they do like auto decals and wraps for cars. And we asked, hey, can you wrap his helmet? And they said, you know, we've done a couple of these. Sure, we can do it. And uh, they came and they measured it and let us kind of design the helmet and they printed it and yeah. put everything together and um, I think it turned out fantastic. I so love easy. it. <laughs> yeah, tell us everything that is on it and, and why you kind of decided to go with because there's a lot of cool <laughs> yeah. factors to this. Well, it's, it's kind of hard to see. You've got the, <laughs> the Be Brave little one on here. Um, it's kind of our, our little motto here. Um, got the aviator sunglasses because that's just Cool. You gotta have yeah. aviator cool sunglasses, <laughs> and then of course we've got the Minnesota with the little hockey on the back. That you know, we're so we're a hockey family, you know, from Minnesota. So, and and the camouflage that's kind of it's, I guess it's kind of a thing you're kind of camouflaging, you know, what he is with with the helmet, and um, it's fun to be out now because we we get lots of comments on oh, look at how cool that helmet yeah. is. So it, it's really for us as a parent has made a huge difference being able to go out in public and, and having the, the welcome request versus the, you just felt like everyone was staring at you. And how cool that it's a local yeah. company that's doing this. Yeah. And then you found out that they've done it for others. They've done it for others and um, they did it completely free. Ah, oh, that was nice. And they, uh, I can't say enough for what they did. It was um, kudos to them because it, it made two parents very, very happy. Which in turn makes Avery very happy. Makes him very he's happy because he's pretty happy too. Because he's sensitive, you know. He sees people kind of looking at him too. Yeah. I feel like they but, pick up kids pick up on energy too and feelings. And it's even with him. He's just excited to be out. He's happy, smiley. He's himself. So. Well, Do you ever throw the real aviators on him and then the aviators <laughs> on top? And <laughs> yeah, I have a pair that match him too. I so love it's that. yeah, I put them on sometimes. So we match so. Thank you so much yeah. for sharing your story. It's always great to hear, yeah. you know, a company giving the heads up, a little kudos for someone who mm -hmm. really did the right thing. So yeah. we love that. Oh, oh. oh knuckles. Good yeah. Yay. <laughs> Good stuff. Thank you guys so much. And Avery, thank you. You are just so adorable. <laughs> I love them. Cute guy. Yeah. Can you, can you stay with like us? Like a baby can or yeah. something. We'll be right back. We need a baby every day on TV. <laughs> yeah.